Hello everyone, I hope you are all fine. Today in sixth term, I would like to teach 9th class science chapter structure of an atom. Before we start this chapter, let me introduce myself. I am Tapas Kumar Rautrai, born in Kattak Orisha. I have completed my graduation in B.S. in Chemistry Honors. I have also done my Masters in Chemistry. If I say my total teaching experience, I have total 3 years teaching experience in various organizations. At present, I am working as a chemistry lecturer in Gyanavasi Professor Science College. I have also 2 years teaching experience in online uh, tutoring in Pillow Tutor and Check in the Private Limited. I like to teach, I love to teach science. This is all about me. Let's start the topic structure of an atom. We know that student, according to Dalton's atomic theory, atom is regarded as a structureless, hard, and spherical particles, which could not be further subdivided into more simpler particles. Since Dalton says atom is the smallest particle in this universe, atom can be, cannot be neither created nor destroyed, destroyed. This is the smallest particle, and it is the building block of a matter. Atom is the building block of matter. Then question arises, what is matter? Listen, uh, student, matter is anything that has mass and I occupy some space. I will give you an example. I have this pen. This pen has some mass. And if this pen I will put on the table, this pen has occupied some space on the table. That's why this pen is one example of matter. This matter is constituted of atoms. Mean in this pen, many types of uh, atoms are present. That is called atom. The constituent particle in atom, the constituent particle in atom are many subdivided particles are fine. Rather, that is called modern atomic theory. That scientist is J.J. Thompson, Faraday, and Cooks. Researches and a shown that atom is a complex structure. Atom is not a smallest structure, it is a complex structure, and many subatomic particles are present in atom. That subatomic particle is called electron, proton, neutron, meson, antiproton, etc. Means at present about 35 different subatomic particles are known in between atom. Means in atom we get only 35 subatomic particles at present age. But only 3 particles like electron, proton and neutron is called the fundamental particle of matter. Also it is called as a building block of a matter. Means Electron plus proton plus neutron is combined to form matter. The constituent particle in atom is electron, proton and a neutron. If you derive the structure of a atom, then according to Dalton's atomic theory, atom is a spherical type of structure. Atom is a spherical type of structure. In spherical structure of atom, we get one nucleus. In nucleus, we get Neutron plus proton and outside this nucleus, this, this is called nucleus because center of the atom is the nucleus and outside the nucleus we get electron which is revolve around the nucleus like planet revolve around the sun. This in between the nucleus, in between nucleus we get neutron plus proton. If we say the charge of electron is negative equal to minus 1.6 into 10 to the minus 19 coulomb and mass of electron equal to 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg and if you will say the charge of proton equal to positive and equal to value is plus 1.6 into 10 to the minus 19 coulomb. We know that Newton is a charged quantity and a charge is 0 in case of Newton. This is negative, this is positive. Because of the electrical neutrality condition, this atom is stable. This is negative, this is positive, the electrical neutrality is contained. Electrical neutrality neutrality is maintained in this atom. If we say this atomic mass of the atom is depend upon the mass of Newton plus mass of photon. This is called atomic mass. Atomic mass. Give an example of this atom. One example, if we say the isotopes of carbon 12 means carbon 
12 and carbon 14 take two isotope carbon 6 12 and carbon 6 14 two isotopes carbon then we calculate the number of proton electron neutron here you get number of proton plus number of a neutron equal to the mass number the formula is the mass number calcul calculate mass number equal to number of proton plus number of neutron equal to the mass number then here number of a proton equal to the atomic number atomic number equal to number of proton equal to number of electron here the carbon has atomic number 6 atomic number in carbon atomic number in carbon is 6 and mass number is 12 mass number is 12 so number of newton here if you calculate the number of proton electron and newton in carbon 6 12 first i stop we get 6 proton 6 electron and 6 newton if you uh, reduct or minus or 12 mass number minus number of proton we get number of newton 6 then in this case of uh, carbon 6 uh, 14 isotope we get 6 electron 6 proton and 8 newton this is all about atom is stable in this form in the structure of atom if we calculate the number of proton newton electron then is simple remember this formula mass number equal number of proton plus number of electron and atomic number equal to number of proton equal to number of electron number of proton equal to number of electron because that maintain the stability of atom here this cell is called energy level cell energy level cell and the electrons are arranged in 2n square rule 2n square rule and the cell called k l a n cell in if uh, if you will put the k cell total number of electron in k cell according to 2n square rule we get k cell equal to n equal to 1 then in k cell total number of electron equal to 2 into 1 square equal to 2 in k cell we get total number of 2 electron then k l l cell number of uh, n number n equal to 2 then total number of electron 2 multiplied 2 square equal to 8 that is the rule uh, to calculate total number of electron in cell in atomic level cell or energy level cell the, the, uh, this is all about the basic introduction of a structure of atom if you have uh, any doubt then ask me frequently if you have no doubt then we will uh, finish this session okay if you have no doubt then i will finish this session thank you guys i hope you understand very well thank you